Yeah. <laughs> that couldn't have worked out better. Oh, my God. We're here for some Tekken Top 8 action. Woo! And Peppa never sleeps 8. Woo! Getting the started here. Loses bracket. We're going to have uh, Strider versus Initial B. Tampa versus Orlando. Well, apparently, Strider has been ducking Initial B all of 2019. So we're going to start out 2020 with this their first match in Top 8. Yeah, New Year's resolution. I'm going to st stop ducking so much. <laughs> I'm going to fight him. Yeah, so we're going to get it started here. Um, we got a great top eight bracket. You can see it on the Smash UG page. Yep. We have uh, Jacksonville. We got Tampa. We got Orlando. We got a nice variety across the state. A lot of good character variety as well. Yep. We're going to see coming up here Steve versus Anisha B has ma mainly geese. Mainly he has, geese. He has a I know yep. he has a king. And a lucky Chloe. He has a Chloe. Well, check. Um, my tag? My tag is uh, just a GDX. Game yeah, Dragon yeah, X. Just GDX. And my, my Twitter is T-I-O GDX, but my tag is just GDX. Because no one knows that T-O means uncle, apparently. So I have to keep explaining it. <laughs> That's some high school Spanish <laughs> right there. Learn yourself. Uh, get, get learned. But uh, initial B on his home turf. Gamers on the edge initial B. Yeah, for sure. On the sponsor stream, holding it down. And I guess uh, Strider's uh, been paid for by Jasmine as he's uh, <laughs> Jay Rice sponsored. <laughs> and check out her Perlers. It's dope. Yeah, we're going to have a good matchup here. Uh, we're guaranteed going to see Steve out of uh, Strider. We just saw him <clears throat> clutch out against King Ray Jr. yesterday. Oh, my the God. Eight. That was such a close match. I, I love that was like our last match of the night for Tekken. Just oh, setting. my God. Just so setting. good. I was telling him, listen, kids don't know fear. But kids know impatience. Yeah. Just make him angry. <laughs> like, you can't scare him because he's young. However, you can get in his head. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're young. You're going to get on tilt. That, that's it. Exactly. That's what happened. He finally got him on tilt. And throughout the, the end of that uh, set, they better pull it out. Bro, that was crazy, though, because he, ha he had, like, key charged. I'm like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> sir, 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 sir. <laughs> Put the gun down. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Game one, top eight. Tampa never sleeps. I did not see who Industry was able to pick, but we're going to see, again, the Steve for sure out of Strider. All Ball right, with the Geese, Geese in it. Pretty standard stuff. Geese, get, again, getting quote-unquote nerfed in the last patch, but then it's like they gave better wall carry. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah sure, you're the, lost. Does here. Geese like the wall? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So pretty standard stage going to Arena for uh, game one. That outfit's fire. Bro. Oh my god. Geese looks like Oh my god. Geese looks like Steve's dad. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Okay, All right, get into it. Start with the Rebukin. Oh, counter hit. Gonna get that combo started. That new move? And oh no, not using that time. Initial B was just telling me that Strider's greatest flaw was blocking lows. <laughs> and you can see it. <laughs> yeah, usually when he feels the pressure to block lows, he says, I'll go aggressive instead. You yeah. Know? Went for the hands to duck there, but. I think the most important thing <clears throat> about this matchup is that uh, you just don't want to be pressing buttons at the wrong time because those counter hits are terrible. Yeah, especially with Steve. Oh, my God. They, they broke songs about how terrible Steve's back one is. It can't be for your life. Look at his pressure, though. Got him in the wall. Good oh. grab. Good stuff. The guaranteed follow-up after the uh, wall grab. No. Oh, tech no. Zone. Pick Stand back up. up again. Unfortunate. Great pressure from there. Uh, from <laughs> the Strider only to be turned around immediately. So talk to me about uh, Geese's meter. How's that work? You know? It's, it's got a little bit shorter now. Not shorter, but it doesn't get as much as one of his nerfs, which was an actual nerf. Yeah. His other things weren't really nerfed, but uh, that's fine. Uh, Geese not able to punish too many things, but he doesn't have meter. He needs that one bar to punish. He's about 18 frames or less. Yeah. But now he can. Well, I mean, that, that, that uh, hit the meter kind of just turns like all of his moves into like a natural launcher. At that point, yeah. And I go into max mode. Fancy stuff. Oh, is that finishing the combo? Anybody want an Oki or something? Ducks a grab. Only gets a rising one, though. No punish, but it doesn't matter. Stand up. Just tossed. And is this why he was ducking initial B? Did he not know the geese matchup? They don't Top. have that many geese around here, honestly, surprisingly. Nah. Get blow parry. Have a seat. Going to get the wall. Here we are. Uh -uh. I feel like low parries have the most, like, most damage in the mental game. Oh, yeah. You, you, you're, man, it hurts. Yeah. It hurts your pride. Nice pressure here from, uh, from Strider. We've seen him have the pressure throughout the set. Oh, oh good he, he read. He flying him. He knew. He knew that was coming a mile away. All right, all right. Nice patience with Strider not, not approaching too hard. Oh, no launch there. 
Counter hit again. Ooh. You're going to see those a lot from Geese, too. Yeah, he's not blocking lows, not counter. Um, getting hit with those as well. Power oh. crush, good stuff. Got a good follow up. Good oh, block. nice block. Protect them ankles. Oh, oh no, we're going to the wall. Not well enough. This is going to hurt. Boom, 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 this boom. This is going to hurt. God damn. Good oh, block. Oh, low. Clutch. Let's go. Oh, no. too antsy. Fireball? No. Yeah. Oh my God! Closing it out with an air fireball. Just make you watch it. it make you stare at <laughs> it in slow motion. This is where you messed up. <laughs> and they have geese stare at you into the camera too. Like, ha ha! You thought <laughs> it was at this moment you messed up. <laughs> <laughs> going to game two. May go for a counter pick. I don't know what stage you like to go to. Maybe infinite. I'm thinking. Oh. All right, helipad. Day? Go night, coward. Wall break on each side. Yes. Yeah, so which I feel like. It, it could favor, uh, it favors both of them. But let's see if Strider can actually use this to his strength. I'm thinking because we saw this should be not really uh, utilize his wall carry that much, <clears throat> along with uh, Strider's heavy pressure when he got him to the wall. Yeah. He wants a smaller stage. He wants to get him to the wall more often to capitalize. Because he was doing very well once he got it, once he got initially to the wall. Yeah. And minus one time getting grabbed and chucked it to it. But aside from that, he's doing very well. Yeah, so he, he's been losing a little bit midfield. Is yeah. What, is what the problem is. He's like, I want a smaller midfield, then screw it. I, I think he's pro probably getting a little too anxious and trying to trying to get in. But I think if you just wait for initial B to kind of just mess up a low, you can really capitalize on that. Possibly. Probably going to go to Dragon's Nest for that very reason. But either way, go on the heli helipad at day. Oh, right out of range of that power crush. He's going to pay for this one. This might be a wall break. Oh, just misses. I mean, I would like to see a little bit more punishment on these ducks. Yeah. Good micro duck there from initial B. Oh, there it is. To the wall. Stand up. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Good mix. <clears throat> Pretty bad spot here. Got to get something quick here, Strider. Air fireball again. I mean, he's if he gets this wall break, he can get this round set. Oh, oh no. Good punish. Nice and quick. And he did down 4-3 instead. Good pressure. Good interrupt there by Strider. He needed it. Oh, and we got a float. Good pickup. Have my own. Have my own little sir. Oh, I had the oh. right idea, but a little too far. It was almost a good bait and whip punish. Yeah. Right concept. Get slapped for his trouble. Wall break. Okay. Not uh, much from it. Fortunate for Strider. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would suspect that Geese gets like really good wall carry off that wall break too. Yeah. But uh, just at a really awkward angle there. Again, go for the low on the wake up. Let's see if Strider blocks it next time. If there is a next time, that's looking too good for him right now. That pressure. I feel like Strider's using a lot of down one uh, to kind of stuff out initial B, but not really getting much after it. Yeah, he's. I don't know how to stop the pressure. So I'm gonna down one and generic. Try to get him off. Good tech. Try to get him off. It started here. He's not able to get him to whip punish. Not able to get in. Good keep out by initial B right now. Here's Stuff a full wall combo for you. He's going for a little last two times. We do it. We do it again. Oh, no time. There we go. The one, one, two. Get the punish. Power, Power crush. crush. Get some pressure. All right, getting no a tech. grab on it. Still don't want to use grab, too. Still don't go for the weird grabs. No tech. Beautiful uh, pressure there on the grab. All right, Rage Drive is on deck. Sonic Fangs gets blocked. Oh, oh max range. Good. Uh -huh. There it is. Tries to go for the up two. Yeah. And that's going to be it. And then this should be going to move on. All right. And Shredder will stay with the seventh place. Quick 2-0. Oh. <clears throat> I think it's up for him. Um... I mean, it, it was an impressive showing, uh, very like still, uh, since uh, Strider got into the top eight. Yeah, I'm getting. I, it. I, I, I'm not sure if he like fully expected to be in top eight. He didn't expect it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, he, no, he didn't expect it. I mean, like you can see, like he he told me himself, like if you look at the player cam back in his match against King Ray Jr., he's like, <laughs> just utter shock, <laughs> shock and all. Uh, but yeah, actually, we're gonna get our next match started here. Uh, we're going to go on the winner's side, actually. That little special guest treat for to start that loser's match. We're going to have Obscure versus uh, Alpi. That'll be coming up in just a second. We're going to have a quick switch for myself. Yeah. We're going to transition uh, Strider in for uh, GDX here. Thank you for your time, sir. Bye, guys. Uh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, one sec. What? Oh. 
Oh, all right, here we go. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Being uh, distracted by your sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was rough, man. When you're playing a counter character and you get countered all day, it's very demoralizing. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it happens, but. I mean, you could have just held on to some buttons. I could have, You could have just waited. That's not my style. Okay. <laughs> all or nothing, man. You know, that's how that's how I play. It's not exactly how Steve should play, but hey, you got me the top eight. What can you say? All right, Obscure looking to flex some new Leroy here. Yes, back here on winner's side against uh, Alpi. Horns is bad. Uh, Rock and the Bob, classic. Yes. We may see him switch. He's got like 19 characters under his belt. Yeah. Though. So let's see if he, if he decides to stick it all the way through. I know he played Bob most of the tournament. Bob seems to be his uh, his strongest. I mean, he's also got a Yoshimitsu. Mm -hmm. uh, Miguel. Miguel. Yep. Uh, so I think those are his three mains. Definitely we'll see. Yeah. yeah. In tournament level, I think I've seen him use all three of those guys. So be interested to see Obscure's uh, Leroy, though. I, I like seeing Leroy. <clears throat> yep. I know a lot of people don't. But let's see how Alpi handles it. I mean, Leroy for sure is a crazy character. Definitely. Like, it, I don't think you can understand how strong this character is, but it looks like Alpi's going to start it off pretty strong. Get the first hit, but back in neutral here. Who misses the launcher. All right, easy mix up on after the down uh, down 3-2. And that's a natural combo, too. That's yeah, disgusting. It is. Yeah, it's such a good low. The natural combo into Hermit stance. <laughs> Ooh, good float there from uh, Horns as he brings Obscure here to the wall. It's even going to Okazemi. He gets out of this. All that guaranteed. Nice side whirl uh, from Obscure to escape. All right, getting the jab combo in. Ooh, good throw break from Horns, but Obscure answers back with his own attack. Then. Here we are. Two rounds to, oh, uh, two, down, two rounds to nothing. Obscure. Let's see. I think it's it's really hard to go in on Leroy because like, it, I mean his parries aren't like, I mean that's good, but I think it's more about like his frame data is just so strong. Yeah, it makes you afraid to press anything because you know that he's going to be at really good fr uh, not advantage, but he's going to be relatively safe. Yeah. So you don't want to press too many buttons trying to retaliate or you'll eat it big. All right, um, good a good mix on that slide kick too. Yeah. So quick three rounds here from Obscure. Let's see if uh. Alpi Horns here able to, to make an adapt a little here. bit, maybe. Maybe change. Looks like he's taking a, a level change, so he'll be sticking with Bob. But let's just see where they're going to be fighting next. I don't know. Uh, I feel like an Infinite Stage was pretty good. Okay, Floor Break is, I floor think, definitely good. good. Yeah. Le Leroy has, like, pretty de uh, decent Floor Break game, but, mm -hmm. I mean, not as good as Bob. Yeah, the extensions Bob gets off the Ground Break are, are enormous. Oh. So let's we'll see if Alpi plays into that positive and can uh, have a stronger showing here. Oof. We are here on winner's semi-finals here at Tampa Never Sleeps. Number eight. Number eight. Off from the hiatus. Glad to see it back. This is such a great event, man. That's super good. But, I mean, we got, like, every game that you can think of. Yeah, all the old man games, yeah, all the new all blood the, games, all the Strike Smash games, Super Turbo. everything. Man. CBS 2 plays that. <laughs> <laughs> man, I know Tom brought that just back for, <laughs> just for Alex Jabaley. <laughs> <laughs> just for Jabaley. Shout out to Alex. All right, we see here Obscure drawing first blood. All right, trying to go for the 4 4 2. Ooh, nice trade. All right, good back dash. Oh, from nice hop kick. Or orbital, I should say. No throw break from Albi either. And he's going to find himself losing round one in about 16 seconds to see if he can adapt here. Yeah, it's crazy how Leroy Smith has outclassed uh, Brian in the orbital game, too. Yeah. And it seems like he's he's such a, a, a momentum based character, too. Like, once he starts at offense, if you don't know the frame data, you don't know the strings, man. He is just going to keep running that train. We can see it here. 12 seconds, and Alpi already in rage. Wow, great parry into a block by Obscure. Yeah. He is playing Leroy very, very well today. Good All right, throw, breaks the right? throat. Counter hit one, down one plus two. That down one plus two, I think, is probably Leroy's greatest, greatest move. I mean, uh, move. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We see here, they're not really breaking the floors either, so Alpi, I don't even think he's going to get a chance to really use it to his advantage here. He's one hit away. This is looking like a clean 2-0 yeah, for Obscure. Alpi still on loser's side, though, so yeah. we'll be seeing him a little later on. Obscure now secures himself into, that puts him in winner's, uh, winner's finals, right? Yeah. Yep, so. But, oh my gosh, I cannot speak more about down one plus two for Leroy. Because <laughs> that, that move hits from, like, like three units away. Yeah. And it's zero on block. 
I think it's only frame 17, which is not too bad if you're standing from all the way yeah. at three. Across the map, basically. No one's really fighting at that range. Oh, man. And but. then counter hit launch into full combo. <laughs> like, what more could you ask for? I think, like, it's 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 pretty easy to sidestep, but, I mean, once, you, once the animation starts, you're eating it. Yeah. You got to think, too, as the game progresses now that he's in the game, he's been around for about, like, about a month and a half. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be seeing players downloading that type of thing to, to know what to look for. Yeah. Um, because, you know, like with any character that comes out, you know, it doesn't help that Leroy is really, really good, but there's that unfamiliarity, which you could see that I'll be yeah. seemingly showed. So um, I think with enough lab work in a couple months, hopefully the hype on Leroy will die down, but that's not to say that he's not broken at all. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. But up next, we got two BXA boys. Broken Alliance, Squall, and Reflex. These two know uh, need no introduction here. Uh, Reflex, one of our, our veterans here in Jacksonville, Squall. Been playing for a while, mostly known for his Street Fighter play as well, but yeah. he's definitely got a mean Marduk. So these guys, they're training partners. They go back and forth. This is nothing new to them. Uh, they're some of our best players here in Florida. So this is definitely going to be a great match. Um, I think it's going to be a match more playing against the player than I think than the, the, the character, you know? Well, I don't know. I, Reflex has been also playing Leroy. So, oh, <laughs> who he's, knows? Who doesn't Le uh, Le uh, Levi play, though? I mean, he's got a great Paul. Yeah. He's got a great um, Kazumi. Uh, I've seen him use... I've seen him uh, use Fang. He's been teaching me some Fang stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, he's got a lot of characters under his belt, and that just makes him such a complete player. He knows the offense and defense when it comes to these people. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, that, that's one of the best ways to learn a character, too. Like, learning it defensively. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to know how to block a character, you just pick up the character for about five minutes. You learn their strengths. Yeah, that's so, that's so true. That's how I try to practice at home. I need to do that more with geese. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will never learn geese. I, I don't know. I think I just need to learn like when to, to duck and that's about it. Yeah. Like hit I'm gonna get counter hit all day. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's what happened to me, man. Like it's just you think you're approaching and then he yeah. just stops it. It's like a giant stop sign. See, uh, my, my my game plan and it never works, is I just wanna crush him. Like mm -hmm. like I, if I think he's gonna go low, I just I'm gonna hop kick. Yeah. So. Yeah. A squall here. Uh, formerly a Leo player uh, up until probably like the last patch in December, uh, maybe November, but he, he recently switched over to Marduk, which I think is a great character for him as well. He, you know, coming from Leo, he still gets the natural uh, down forward one launcher. Yeah. So that was a main part of his game when he played Leo, when he would whiff punish. He's really good at that. Uh, but now he has the extra range. He has the, the mix-ups with the, the tackle. And so um, I think this is a really good adjustment from him in terms of character. And yeah, it looks like we're going to be seeing Leroy from, from Reflex here, so. Going See how this goes. Yeah, going to infinite as your two yep. nighttime That's edition. Right. Let's go. I'm gonna bury you. I love that costume. That hat is so dope. <laughs> that hat is so dope. The Aegis Wonder, Leroy Smith over here. Old man, tone body. Let's go. All right, you can you uh, like you said, Squall's looking for that whip punish. Yeah. So he's backing up real quick. But Reflex has got the mix-ups. He does, and he's also making sure to keep that pressure going. He's not trying to create space so that that down forward one is really usable. And good reaction on his wake up, breaking that throw. Mm -hmm. Got the side switch here. Oh, good throw. No break from Reflex. That's kind of surprising. That's going to hurt into a KO if he finishes this combo. Oh, just about yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, guaranteed. Looks, that's a guarantee. Definitely guaranteed. Guaranteed unscaled. So first round, Squall here. Good stuff from him. Oh, my God. I, I never really realized how much taller than Marduk is over uh, Leroy. <laughs> he's like a good two feet taller. Oh, yeah. my God. I don't know in the canon. I don't know if he's like seven foot something. But, yeah, he's enormous. That dude is huge. And there's that whip punish you were talking about. That's right. All this damage guaranteed. Good stuff here. Leroy, uh, reflex about half health. Find his way out now. Gets a counter hit jab combo. Nice parry after oh, the down 3-2. No. Nice read, though, from Squall not committing. Good blocks. Good defense. Not now you got you cannot be telling me that his hermit uh, back four is not punishable. <laughs> How do you not get nothing off of that? Oh man, Marduk, uh, Squall fighting for his life out here. Gets the tackle. Does he know the? Oh, good break. Oh, gets it. Is that the one? That was uh, right. Would have been that would have been the one break. Yeah, good stuff. One round apiece here. And I love how both these are just going at it. Yeah, in each other's faces. They're not scared. Oh, great combo here from Squall. I'm not sure who it favors more to not have the wall. Uh, I'm not sure either. I mean, both these guys have really good spacing anyway, and I think they're at that level where if they find themselves in a corner, 
they're going to try to get themselves out as quickly as possible. Yeah. So for them, they're just playing around each other, not even the level. Ooh! Oh, counter hit. Kick them in the liver! He is down. Two rounds of one. Squall here. Great launcher to open up the round. I think they play so much against each other that uh, Squall knows what Reflex is going to open up with and just went ahead and started off with a launcher. Yeah, ooh, another one there, that down forward one we're talking about. And I've noticed every round, I feel like Squall has had the, the opening uh, advantage in terms of like first hits and major combos. I think one round Reflex had one, but Squall taking the first game here, able yeah. to get a good momentum going in the early parts of the game. Definitely seeing a lot like harder wins in neutral from Squall. Yes. Uh, yes Reflex yes. hasn't been getting quite a few launches uh, as Squall has. Mm -hmm. But I think that's what's going to result in a character switch here. Oh, it is. He's pulling out the main guns. He's like, I'm not here to play yeah. anymore. I'm here to <laughs> win. Let's see what he can do with that. Heading to Kinder Gym. All right. So Kinder Gym, a pretty big stage. Yes. Not to, uh, like, and, and it's got the, it's just like a big square. Regular square, yep. No weird off-axis uh, level or anything yep. like that. So pretty, pretty strong map. I like it a lot. And uh, pretty dope. Law's wall carry pretty above average. Yes, and he, and the good thing is he's got just as good whiff punishing options I think as uh, as Marduk in terms yeah. of his range. Um, and then you know Law known for his kind of his aggressive play, looking to keep that pressure so that you know Squall doesn't really get that opportunity to create whiff punish opportunities. Oh. He opened up the last round with the same beginning and was able to land that launcher. I don't think he's opened up with a low either, so I'm not sure what reflex was ducking there. Maybe a jab. I maybe, guess. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Oof. But uh, you, you could say that Leroy, um, among all his strengths, I think he does struggle a little bit um, in range. Yeah. Because yeah. if, if he's going to go for range, it's going to take a lot of commitment, Ooh. and he's going to block and be negative. Good wall splat there from Reflex. And here we have uh, Squall fighting for his life here. Oh, One he hit away. Ooh, counter hit. No, he's still alive. Blocks it. Blocks the blue stuff and oh. hits him with the mid. That 50-50 is so strong. I hate Marduk on the ground, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Eddie and Relax. You're just like, I want to hit him out of this just to get him in regular state. But both these guys playing the neutral. Ooh, catches him again. He's, he's waiting for that retaliation with that uh, high crush. He's been doing that quite a bit this round, or this game. Squall's just been doing amazing yeah. in this like in this whip punish situation. Yeah, his fundamentals really showing. Uh, good Magic 4 here, though, from Reflex. Able to mount a little bit of offense here. Misses uh, the last hit, though, for the wall carry. That's, that's a pretty uh, pretty hard finisher. Yeah. Ooh, good break. Ooh, get oh, off me, breaks man. Breaks it one more time. Can he still get this with the Rage Drive? Oh, not able to break it again, though. Ooh, hits him with the two. Give me that right. leg. That's my leg. Two rounds of nothing. Squall here. Almost, you know, he's about to sweep Reflex here. Reflex, again! Oh, no, that's like That's the third times. time. Yeah, third time in this set. Squall's definitely able to make it work, but Reflex able to land a counter hit of his own. Ooh, Boy. Catches him ducking. <laughs> Squall has shot Rock every time yeah. Re Reflex has shot Scissors. <laughs> Good trade here from Squall. He's going to bring in Reflex to the wall here. Uh, Gets a little bit more damage. What's damage. the mix up? Not able to break the tackle. What's the mix up? Hits oh, gets a one plus two. That was great. The do nothing. Oh, knee to the face. Gets the wall splat. Is that going to hit? That should. No, oh! it does in the side roll. No. I wasn't sure if that was going to be a regular wall splat or a side one. Squall knew. He's like, I'm ready and waiting. Able to land the punish. And a surprising 2-0 victory for Squall, yeah. I got to say. I know these guys Reflex really. got like one round of game one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, like I said, this is winners. So we'll still be seeing Reflex later on. Good showing by both players. Yep. We'll be moving on to uh, their loser side now. Loser side. Yeah, that puts Squall in winners against uh, uh, against Obscure. Yeah. So we'll be seeing, I think, May May standing Prison. up here along with Lord Shiesty of BXA. Shiesty. A good representation. Usually good representation of BXA here in the top eight in our Florida, yeah. Florida Tekken tourney. So. It's a good team. Yes, yes. Good team for Tekken. Deep roster for sure. These dudes doing the first, the pregame, the mind game before the mind game. Ah, uh, and Shicey uh, gets it with paper. He's like, I'll give it up. That was good. I see you. Everyone knows, man. Rock, zero frame startup, man. How can you beat that? Wait, did Shicey want to play on the right side? I don't he, know. he won that, right? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think, I, I know maybe pointed at him. So I, I assumed 
He's like, all right, you got this. You oh, take yeah. where you want. Maybe he took side two. But I think well, I, when you get to this level, really, like, it's not so much how it's going to hamper you. It's more of just, like, you know, what side you start out. That pre-game. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. pre-mind game. Because I mean, when you get to this level, you play, you should be able to play at any side, honestly. Especially late players. They know how to move on either side of this, mm -hmm. uh, the screen, so. Yeah. Let's see if we get a little party started. Now, what's interesting is that both of these players, you know, they have, they both had mains prior to 2020. You know, we saw Shiesty, Lord Shiesty playing a lot of lay. Yep. Um, and then, you know, Mei Mei was a Jin player. Now, I know Shiesty has transitioned into Lee Chao on a little bit yep. more. Um, I haven't actually seen Mei Mei in a while, so I'm not sure. Well, he what did to play uh, Heihachi uh, yesterday. Yes, oh yeah, he did. He played against uh, uh, Bearded Kaiju, right? Yes. Yeah, he was playing Heihachi against him. So. Both these characters do have a lot of secondary characters, so I'm not sure who we're going to see. This will be a, a fun match for sure. Let's see what the pick is. I think he's, he's getting closer to the lead. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Jin the start, which it looks like Jin, Jin or Hayachi is what we're looking at here. I'm starting to see, with Lei. Yeah, we're seeing Lei from Shaisi. He's going hard. Best best character he's got, so. Going through the technicalities here, of course. And it looks like, yeah, we're gonna be seeing Heihachi, so. Um, Lay doesn't really have like amazing while standing punishes, right? Not particularly, but he's got good crushing. You know, he's got yeah. his stances and he's got Really yeah. good movement out of some of his, man. Like, his forward back movement out of uh, Bear Stance, is it? Is uh, like the, uh, Tiger. Tiger, yeah. Is really, really strong. Like he'll, You'll see him. I'm sure he'll do it once or twice this game. But that back forward motion, it's like a shimmy in 5, in Street Fighter Five. Oh, it's, yeah, just like Yeah, a... whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and then you're getting launched with a, with a low hit. And it's a low hit sweep. So it's really uh, cumbersome. With these but, yeah, we'll see how this opens up here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Heihachi fares against him. Heihachi known for his, his big, strong hits. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see his, his mix-up game isn't too strong, right? But like with down back two, it's like it hurts so much when you're wrong. Yeah, it's so demoralizing when you get hit by it. Good sidestep there from Mei Mei. Uh, All right, natural combo on that one. Yep. Ooh, ducks it. That's good. That's a low. He catches him, and he's gonna take him downstairs. Let's see what damage he gets off of this. Didn't quite get the screw yet, so he's oh popping to bring him to the wall. All right. Ooh, catches him with the tracker. All right, can Shicey get off of this wall? Ooh, uh, st gets steps wall into it, yeah. too. It's unfortunate. One of, one of Lay's main forward motion moves is the is the rush, the four-hit string. Yeah. But it's easily side and It's really hard to use when your like, back is against the wall. So let's see if Shiesty, uh is able to improve his defensive play. Yeah. Right now, he needs to work on it because he's finding himself against the wall again here. Yeah, Meime using all Ooh, the environmental resources. Man, that's exactly what he did yesterday against what Kaiju. Hit him mix. like with four mix-ups in a row. It is so frustrating to deal with, for sure. Man, what's it like being right all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice 4 4 3 into an evasive uh, back turn. Again, he's so impressive with those kicks. He did it three times in a row. Oh, nice Ooh, low parry as well. Parry. He's really on his game right now. Mei Mei is really putting on a clinic right now. Shaisi's going to need to figure out something quick if he wants to mount a comeback in game two. Yep. Punishes do nothing on the ground there. Yeah. And it's like it's great because Mei Mei is making a point to not let Shiesty do any lay gimmicks. He's trying to keep him out of stance. Yeah. He's not letting Lei get into his grounded mix up or his ground game stuff. Um, so I think if Mei Mei continues to do that, he's gonna find himself winning game two. Um, Shiesty gonna need to work on creating some space, or he's just gonna switch to character, which, yeah. which we're seeing here. So uh, let's see how Lei Ch uh, Li Chalan fares. I know he really loves this character. This is the character he loves. He he likes playing Lei, but Lee is his is his homeboy. So he's been putting a lot of work with that over the months. And uh, let's see what that shows here in top eight. Let's see some excellent Tekken. Yeah. <clears throat> Taking it to home turf, t though, Mishima building. That's right. Uh, we just got walls into a uh, round three transition. Yeah, round three transition. Uh, same, still walls, though. Same stuff. Should I see a little bit more on the offense uh, this this start, which is yeah. 
Good sign. Let's see if a, ooh catches him with the counter. Not able to really get much off of it though, unfortunately. All right, bring him to the wall. Can we get some pressure on? Blocks that. Very yeah. nice. Good defense by both players here. Oof, big damage. And nice whip punch from Aimee. Ooh, catches him with the second hit. Always a threat, that slide kick. Oh, oh, he ate that slide kick and kicked him in the face. That was a good counter from Meme, but Shicey edges it out. Round one. Even against the wall, still managing to whip punish. Yeah. Meme able to get a lot of free pressure with that jumping 3-4. Uh, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, what is, is it like plus? It's, 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 it's safe. That's enough yeah. to, to use it as much as you like, I guess, but... Eight, really catch him with the one one two in the wall split. Oh, not a good move at that range. Yeah. Ooh, he's gonna get. You don't want a spring kick out of that situation. Yeah, when your back's against the wall, man, that's it's like a great way to find yourself back against the wall. So one game a piece or one round a piece. See here, definitely a better showing from Shiesty. So yeah, I actually managed to get around so far. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Again with that. Now he's gonna combo. He's like, I'm not letting that slip twice. Continues the string for a counter yeah, hit. Counts the, the wall. wall. Ooh. Catch him with the jumping low. Oh, and gosh. We're at set point here for Mei Mei. Bro, Mei Mei's uh, mix-ups are so devastating. Yeah. Oh, oh, catches him. Kept the string going. Good stuff. Ooh, catches him going in. Great stuff from Shiesty. He's going to bring him to the wall. One, two. No flip. Takes the Oki instead. All right. Uh, jab trade. Good stuff. Final round here. Shiesty fighting for his life. Top eight losers. Let's go. Maybe at round point here. Ooh, good start from Shiesty. Ooh, catches him on the uh, high crush again. Both of them Ooh. definitely seeming to like block a lot more. Yeah. Rather they're, than trying to press buttons. They're in the feel. They're in their, their comfortable feeling, I think, right now. Yeah. But is this adjustment too late for Shiesty? So far, he's doing okay. I just I'd hate for him to eat a launcher or something. Let's see if he can continue with this solid play here in final round. You know, I haven't seen like a single electric from Heiachi either. Yeah. Gets the splat. Good damage. Ooh, good back dash. Oh, wow. and walks into it though. And that will do it. Meimei takes it 2-0 over Lord Shiesty. These matches seem to be going pretty quickly. They are, they are. So Shiesty's gonna be taking, uh, that, that puts him at seventh, right? Yeah, that puts, okay, him, puts at seventh. him at seventh. And we'll be seeing Mei Mei move along. I believe to be fighting uh, initial B, right? Uh, no, he's, uh, Mei Mei's gonna be playing uh, Horns is Bad GG. Oh, Horns is Bad, okay. Up next we got Reflex and Initial B. There we go. That's paper, 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 paper. paper. Scissors, scissors. Oh. oh, only going one? Oh man, he's at the one and done. He hit you with the one and done? <laughs> the one hitter quitter. All right, so what kind of stuff do you, uh, you think we're gonna see here? I mean, uh, uh, Brian's been focusing a lot more on his geese than his king. Yes, that's true. I mean, he's uh, He's been focusing more on his hitbox more than anything else. He was talking yeah. to me earlier, you know, he really likes the hitbox. He likes his movement with the hitbox. Yeah, the KBD uh, is almost free on a hitbox, yeah, too. Yeah, super, super strong. Uh, he was telling me that, you know, with the hitbox, though, he's finding some execution issues with ending combos and specific inputs, but the movement is on point. I did see that a lot. Like, yesterday, Brian happened to be dropping a lot of combos. Like, he did he, it against he, me, too. Yeah. He didn't. He just didn't finish things. And, as you know, that's just going to come with time. But uh, I, he has been putting a lot of time with Geese and, and with the hitbox. So uh, yeah. I think... Just with time, that is going to work to his benefit. I think everybody says that, right? Yeah. Hitbox at first <laughs> is a little hard to use, but once you get it going, man, you're smooth sailing, and, and it, it, a lot of times it's better than the fight stick. But. I mean, he's playing for fifth at TNS 8, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and he's he said he's only been like about a month deep in hitbox. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot to look forward to him this year in 2020 if he keeps it up. See a reflex to do here, though. He had a kind of a weak showing in Squall. See if he can kind of go on the upswing here yeah. and uh, keep his tournament life alive. Going to Leroy. Yep. Where's it going? It's going geese. Yeah, he's going geese. 
I'd be really surprised. I'd like to see a king, but I, I don't know if he would do it. I would love to see it. Well, I mean, uh, Majin was saying the king does pretty good against Leroy. Against Leroy, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is true. Uh, but we're going to see uh, Geese here. I think uh, Perry's going to get put in a lot of work a here lot since of work. Geese has got like a lot of long strings on block. Mm -hmm. um, and even if you transition to Hermit, uh, that's an automatic low parry into a follow-up. <sighs> that's going to be tough for Clark. Let's see if he can pull it out. Time to take out the Again, I always think it comes back to the character knowledge, right? Like anytime you come up against Leroy, you're just like, do I know everything about this character? Is he going to hit me with something? I I feel like unless it's like a, uh, unless it looks like a clear launcher, He's zero on it. I, I'm just, that's what I would just assume. We opens up here with the low. Opening damage here. Already has initial B here at the wall. All right, that down back three, one plus two. So far in range. Yeah. And you you can hardly step it either. Uh, zero after that up four, two. Initial B trying to create some space. Maybe thinking about what he can do here to deal with that. And uh, Reflex not really giving him any breathing room. Yeah, catches with the jab combo. Yep. Very nice. Ooh, good first blood here from Reflex. And that's going to carry him to the wall. Oh, so much damage. Leroy honestly does too much oh damage for the amount of mix that he has. A good throw break from Free Flex. I feel like every, uh, every combo he has, as long as it's uh, com completion, uh -huh. it does like 70 damage. Yeah. A uh, quick 2-0 here from Reflex. See if he closes it out or Initial B can uh, mount some, more to, some sort of momentum here. He Ooh, catches he, him with the low. Now he needs to know that down 4-2, uh, uh, 1-2, two, two, that's launch punishable. That's like minus 15. Yeah. That, that character unfamiliarity, man. I know Obscure, who's still in, in Winterside, he always talks about it. He says, Leroy is a great character, but a lot of the credit that he gets is just based on people not knowing his frames, you know? Yeah. Everything looks ridiculous because you don't know what to do against it. I mean, it. That, that, that's going to be the case for like a lot of DLC. Because mm -hmm. then when the character first comes out, I was like, I don't know how to block this. Yeah. That's how people felt about um, uh, Zafina. Zafina, Zafina yeah. was like, oh, she low profiles everything. And then you realize her frames are kind of, eh. You're yeah. like, oh, okay, it's not so bad. She's not like super fast, but like she's super evasive. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So it looks Is like that he's, Noctis? Yes. He's so, going so let me tell you, he told me about this. He says, uh... If I need to, I might switch to Noctis because I can play at range. I don't care about playing at range. Yeah. Um, I, I can play at like that 2-3 range and not worry because he has the running the running 1 plus 2, that super sword, where if you play at range, you can't sidestep it. Yeah. Um, he's got the projectiles that he can use. He's just got good space control. So he did tell me about this. I'm really curious to see if he really labbed a lot to deal with Leroy. The space control will be really important against Leroy as yes. well with that short range, but he starts off with a 4-2-2. Two, two. <laughs> couldn't even finish the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> but now he's got a lot of space to work with now with Leroy's back against the wall. Ooh, he finishes oh, the string okay. and then initial B was not ready. Good block on initial B though. Nice launch. Yep, good whiff punish. Oh, here comes the party. Punches him in the face. Ooh, good parry. Oh. Oh, good back dash to, to, to That's replenish. also launch punishable. Oh, man. That's a uh, minus 15. Ooh, I'm... good rage drive. All right. Trying to get in here. Rising oh, four into man. the down three, two. Takes the first round. round two. Fight. Catches him with the opener. Oh, my God. One plus two. It's almost worth it just not press a button. Look how opening. much damage he's already putting in. Stop punching his feet, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, my he's so, Lord. That's done. Oh. Good night. Don't press the button. Don't press the button, Round initial B. Three. Don't. Just back dash. Just back, back dash. Back, back dash. dash. Okay. okay there he, is. he listened. Good job. Down three, two. And then down uh, in the three, four. Oof. Oh, man. You can tell. Initial B is, I don't want to say he's scared, but he's just, he's sitting there. He's blocking. He's not pressing buttons. He really, yeah. that's that momentum that Leroy picks up on, man. Like, it's 13 seconds in, and, and Noctis is about to eat it. Yeah, it definitely looks like uh, Reflex has got the Noctis matchup. But that, Initial B does not too. have the download on Leroy. Yeah. This guy's on dial-up right now. Oh, here we go, though. Slowly mounting. He's still not out of it, though. He's With a full combo, he can bring this back. Yeah. Oh, no! no! He's like, nah, man. I didn't want that. <laughs> I didn't want that, bro. Why would I do that? There's no. I would never want to do that. You can see on his face. But good stuff to, uh -huh. good stuff to, uh, to Initial B. He's taking fifth place today. So props to him. Fifth place strong. Yep, yep. We'll be seeing Le uh, Levi. 
BXA Reflex moving on. A strong showing, though. Yes, definitely, yeah. man. All these players that make it to top eight, they put in a lot of work. This is our first real big uh, tournament here on the Tampa side uh, of Florida, yeah. uh, 2020. So this is kind of everyone's first time to shine this year, show their mark, you know, say, I'm here to play. So congrats to all these guys here in top eight. I mean, Tekken is such a great game. I feel, I, I'm so happy when I see new people try to pick up Tekken. Yeah. Like, it's so daunting to even, tr like, think about picking up Tekken. Mm -hmm. But when they really commit to it, I'm like, thank God. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, one thing, I mean, I've been playing this game since Tekken 4 in kind of a semi-competitive sense, and I've always said this, you know. You'll have to learn your character, and it takes years. Years to really become, like, comfortable with your character. Right. Then imagine doing that for 40 other characters <laughs> when you try to learn the defensive side of things. You're like, man... I'll be playing this game when I'm 40, and I still don't know what I'm doing, you know? Like, there's just so much knowledge that yeah. you need to have so to play this game at a high level. So many variables to look out for. Yeah, and that's just the knowledge side of the thing. You got to think of the execution side, too, yeah. man. You got just frames. You got Korean backdashing. You know, there's there's so much to it. Well, I want to say that Tekken's, like, super technical. Yeah. There's no Marvel. Oh, Marvel, <laughs> your brain just needs to be technical, man. You need to process, you need to process 85,000 things on the screen going on at any time. I mean, time. you could play Devil Jin. Or you can play Paul. <laughs> At that point, you're taking the thinking out of that. You're just like, all right. But you know, I like that philosophy, though. You bring up a good point because there are high execution characters in the game, and there's low execution characters in this game. And when you play a low execution character, that allows you to focus on your mental game, right? Which is, you know, a very important part of this game too. And so you'll see people play Paul. You'll see people play like basic, fundamental characters like Jack as well. And you're doing it to just focus on the game. You're not focusing on your inputs. You're focusing on right. just what the opponent is doing, what you're doing. And at the same time, with those high execution characters, you get rewarded so much yes. when you are right. Yes, yes, yes. That is so true. You know, there's definitely a risk reward that goes to it when you play a high execution character. Um, and you know, these guys playing probably mid-level characters in terms of execution. And and here they are. We got Bob versus Heihachi. This is what we saw earlier in top eight. So. Yep. Not Two very strong mixed characters. Yes, that is true. A Bob known for a lot of mid highs, so I'm anticipating, you know, May May throwing out the ducks to try and, and punish. Um, we'll see what happens here as they open up on Howard Estate, my favorite level. Ooh, smashes him in the face, open up the round, does it twice. No hat trick. Oh man, let's see if Heihachi mounts a comeback here. Ooh, nice sidestep. Oh, almost gets the wall spot after that jab combo, too. Ooh, here comes the ground game. Oh, very Ooh. nice. Sidewall. Got lucky there. Belly flop again, sidewall. He's gets, oh. What is this? What is happening right now? No adjustment into the screw either. You can see it on Albie's face. He's like, what the? What was that? He's like, come on, man. So much damage <laughs> after that rage drive, too. <laughs> Finish the ring. Good punish. Now, Albie. You can see how well he knows this game. Like, he plays so many characters, like, he knows the frame data. Yeah. So we're going to be looking for these proper punishments and just on time, too. Yeah, I've already seen a couple times here in this match, they may making a good point to sidewalk and sidestep effectively. Yeah. Um, it's working out for him a lot. As you see here, Horns maybe making it 1-1. Able to get floated, though. Side switch. Got a stomp. Oh no, here's the mix. Yeah, man. Get up. And it's a Ooh. low. When your nerves are, are going, man, all of those things feel like they're happening in an instant. You get no time to guess. Uh, Alpi's been doing a good job starting off the rounds, but can he finish them off? Here's a Oh, no combo. Oh, but he is going to get the punish on the, the spring kick. And he's fighting here. Good stuff so far. Ooh, belly flop. Oh, oh yeah, he's ready. Power crush. Perfect. Yes. Seven gold letters. Good stuff, Malpy. Bring it back. You know, that's that's one thing. When you have an opponent with their back against the wall and you have all that life, man, yeah. you can throw out those uh, power crushes like they're nothing. You're like, I don't care if he trades. Bro, I win the round. If I'm against the wall, you think you think I'm going to toss out a low? Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, man, that's how you die. <laughs> and that's where that power crush comes in. Very smart on Alpy's part. Yep. Oh, man. Here we go, though. Is he going to get the wall break? He is. And that's going to be the... Yeah, that should be almost. it. Oh. Ooh. Doesn't okay. tech the... Uh, ground. Yeah, the down, the down one. Yeah. I think if he had side rolled, he might have been okay, but, yeah. or just back rolled. But I think he, he tried to press something. 
And so Alpi, Foreign's gonna be taking it somewhere else, see where they're playing next. Forgotten Realm, maybe? Yeah, and that, that's an that's a intermediate level knowledge of like waking up. Like, yeah. how do you wake up? That's another aspect of this game that takes so long to really master. Okazemi and Tekken is, to me, one of the most um, punishing parts of this game, you know? In Tekken 6 and Tekken 5, it was way worse. They toned it down quite a bit in 7. But man, like, your Okazemi game needs to be as good as about anything else you do in this game. Your movement, yeah. your execution on inputs, like, Having that knowledge to just know what you can do in every instance is so important. What hits, what doesn't, what hits grounded, what doesn't, how you can get out. You know, there's tech traps. You know, when you're when you're face face up, head towards. You know, if you back get up like normal get up, you're eating a, you're eating a combo, you're eating a launcher. So it's the little nuances like that that are really important when you're playing at this level. Right. But we're at a uh, was it the Omo Studio? Or yeah, something like that? The, the church, man. I the can't. The church, the my, cathedral. Yeah, my my Latin is not that great. Yeah, but we got one balcony break and a huge stage underneath. That's true. Fighting pretty far from the wall over there, though, but see if these guys, how they play out. Looks like Horns has the initial start here. Able to make a lot of uh, a lot of positive results out of that power crush, that belly flop, belly bump. Yeah, I, I, I would actually say that I don't see Horns' uh, power crush that often, mm -hmm. but in this matchup, it seems like he's using it a lot more. Well, to me, they're hard reads, right? That's not safe on block. No, it's but he's super doing it. Unsafe. He's doing it as a frame trap, right? Like he's doing a move that's relatively safe, maybe like minus, like less than five or five or so, yeah. and then just does it, waiting for the button press when he thinks his uh, opponent's gonna take the turn. Yeah, he can. See, I think he can right there, like something like that. Yeah, he can sense the anticipation yeah. in May May. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You know, I laugh when I when I played May May when he played Jin. It was always like, Jin didn't seem like the optimal character for him because he's so aggressive. He's a very aggressive character. Yeah. Uh, I think Heihachi's a better fit for him because of that. But I think Albi knows that. And he's trying to bait those power crushes, or uh, throw the power crushes out to bait it. No break on the one plus two throw. Yep. Getting a full combo to the wall. All that guaranteed damage and the mix up. Let's see what he has. Good block though on the low. Ooh, the electric. You were just talking about that earlier. I didn't use it too much. Oh, low, the jump great low, low mix up and no instant get up. Yeah, that uppercut is uh, so strong. That that floor Wait, game. I, actually, oh, no, I, I think that that setup, uh -huh. that right there, when your uh, head is towards them, when you try to back roll, you get hit by that anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's like that's what I was talking about, man. The ground Okazemi is really important to know. There's certain instances where if you just try to get up, you're gonna get hit with a guaranteed yeah. uh, combo. I think uh, my buddy Brian G was telling me that like one of your best options is just not do anything. Just yeah, do nothing, man. Like I'd rather take the extra 15, 20 damage and get a guaranteed yeah. neutral than to try and quick, uh, quick it up. Because you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna take less damage on the ground. That this is, is a such confirm. a crucial. Yeah, uh, that was so crucial, but luckily it didn't punish him too badly. Oh man, a two over, uh, two zero over uh, Alpi. Yep. May May goes on to loser semis. Yep. Congrats to. Horns here in top five. Next, we're going to see, one, uh, once again, Obscure and Squall. Oh, man, winner's finals here. Three out of five. These two players are going to have at it. Again, I always feel like this just comes down to, does Squall know the Leroy matchup? But luckily, he does have Reflex in his corner. Yeah, and he did do pretty well against Reflex. Mm -hmm. And I, I, if Obscure is going to be sticking with Leroy, Squall has got an amazing whiff punish game, um, backdashing really well, yes. keeping that space. That movement, movement so crucial, creating that space. Like you would, see, like at the beginning, Tekken seems like such a stiff game when it comes to movement, uh -huh. but like it's so important. Yeah, <laughs> it's such, it's so funny. Like you think about when you first pick up the game, and you know you move, you sidestep, you get a feel for it. Then you know you you think about the the advanced stuff like Korean back dashing things like that, uh, wave dashing man. Yeah. Oh. And you you realize how from a beginner standpoint the game can look clunky, but at a high level man these characters move like water. Yeah. I, I, that's what I love about this game too is that there's such a wide spectrum mm -hmm. between uh, beginner and advanced, and there's really no ceiling. But no. so, uh, there's no cap on what you can do yeah. as long as you put the time into it. Mm -hmm. Like, you are truly rewarded by the amount of effort you put into yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two things I always think about are, are, you know, you have that down forward two counter hit with Kazuya into the perfect electric. 
and then taunt jet uppers. To yeah. me, those are like the two most execution intensive things in this game. And there's such a small population of the player base who can actually do them consistently. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, that's like to me that's the ceiling. Like that's yeah. the top. <laughs> you do that consistently, man. You're good. But there's such a, a gap between that and just playing like advanced play. Like, and every character has their own unique set of tools. Like you have the Mishimas that are kind of similar. Um, you know, you have the pandas that are the clones. But yeah, uh, every character feels so drastically different that the play style, how you use them. It's, just, it's so different. You're not going to play. Yeah. You're, you're, and then when you have two of the same character, they play them completely different. Yeah, they There's so much freedom in this the, game. The game is so expressive, yeah. right? Uh, but we're going to see Squall with the Marduk. Yep. And Obscure with Leroy Smith. Leroy Smith, let's see. We've got a hot DLC battle in Winner's Finals, Season 2 versus Season 3. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Is Marduk Season 2, right? Yeah, he's season 2. Yeah, he's season you're two. right. You're right. He came right. out of Armor Believe game. in yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've seen these guys duke it out here. Winner's finals, person makes it to the grand finals, who wins it here? The new versus the new new, starting out with a 4-4-3. Four, four, uh, depending on the range, it's going to be either uh, 0 or plus 5. I love that move too, man. It's got such good range. Uh, I think he accidentally went for the uh, Hermit 1 instead of the Hermit Ford 1, and didn't get the screw there. But good mix-up. Oh, oh good block, it. finally. He started getting his toes tap, man. He's been getting hit with that quite a bit. Ooh, good uh, follow-up on the Rage Drive. Breaks the throw. Ooh, kicks him. Oh, man. Oh, no. Ooh. The week one rage art. Once Skull commits to that tackle, there's like nothing he can do about yeah. it. So doing it at that range against somebody like Obscure, he's just waiting Smart. for it. Smart. Good reflexes yeah. and good awareness. Yeah, for sure. Oh, brings out the cane. Yeah. Oh, there you go in the stands. Three, good low two. parry. And he's reading that. I noticed he, he's doing that a lot yeah. better uh, than we saw earlier. Uh, Leroy got, got away with a lot of lows in his first in, uh, Obscure's first match. But you, wa you want to see a block on those uh, down back threes mm -hmm. because that thing is like minus 26 or something. Yeah, you get way more off of a block launcher than you would off a low parry for yeah. sure. Uh, but great orbital off uh, uh, against that tackle, getting a full combo. Mm -hmm. oh, counter at the start. The walls have gone away, so Let's see if Squall plays a little bit more of the range game. Able to get the tackle. Good break, though, from the skewer. Woo! Now, I, I would think that Marduk does a, uh, has a better time in the open field. Oh, what a sidestep yeah. after the Hermit! That was solid. Great stuff from Obscure. Taking game one against Squall. But yeah, you were saying? Uh, I was going to say that I would think Marduk has, uh, would prefer to have no walls against Leroy. Uh, I think Marduk uh, does not want to get mixed against Yeah, Leroy. yeah, you want to create that space. Yeah. You know, the range on Leroy, not ideal when you have a Wallace level. So, at Squall, I mean, you're playing Marduk. Marduk is enormous. He's got great limbs, man. Yeah. So, you want to play to your, play to your advantages and create that space. Let's see, they decide to stay in the same stage here. Quick rematch, and we're here on game two. Well, uh, the bigger characters like Marduk and the Bears and the Jack, they have like. They, their legs kind of inward, right? Uh -huh. So I think what Squall wants to do is create even more space than he normally would and uh, kind of just beat out the Raptor like uh, Leroy. Mm -hmm. You think about it too, it's like Leroy's got that with the forward, 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 the, the lunge kick. Yeah. Yeah, that that's a gap closer in itself and it seems safe. So it's just like, all right, well, you're doing that. I'm going to do what I want. Get back over here. Gets a tackle. Can he get the mix? Ooh, goes for the chop, the do nothing break. Great stuff. Who opens up with the tackle. Tries it again, the chop. chop. His neck, man. That forceful massage, let's go. The no mix-up mix-up. Good float, keeps that pressure. Leroy's like, get off me, man, let's go. Yeah, you're right until you're wrong, so just keep at it. So you're mounting his offense, he's got rage as well. Oh, oh good break. The throat. He's gonna go for a low. Oh, man. That's his lesson. Oh, oh, the late man. hot kick! He telegraphed that low too. He's waiting for it. And Obscure said, nah, man, I'm going to the skies. Oh, good uh, throw here to start though from Squall. No break from Obscure. That's going to be a, a lot of damage too. Yep, about 40%. Ooh, good whiff on, uh, whiff on the back dash. And that's going to be the round, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it is. This is so much damage. Oh, perfect. perfect. Let's go. We haven't seen a lot of those. I think that's the second one of the set, uh, top eight so far. 
It looks like Squall has made the adjustment against Obscure. 2-2 mm -hmm. punish. Let's see. Oh, good float. Good tackle follow-up as well. Let's see what he gets out of this. One break. Yep. He's getting the uh, he's getting the counter hit after it as well. Ooh, good tail spin here. Working the feet. Oh, oh. he conditioned him for that. You see, I did two lows. They hit him with the overhead right in the dome. He does, he, he he skipped the un, uh he, he skipped the confirmed uh, uh, unscaled uh, four after the down two. Oh yeah. But uh, he he used it to uh, grant himself more mix up on the wake up. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. a that's a great tactic in most situations, man. Unless he's gonna take the round. Giving yourself that extra Okazemi is so crucial. Oh, oh my god! Orbital's the enraged drive. Obscure is up 2 0 oh, winners finals, but we're, this is going to be a set of five. Yep, one more. One more at least. Going Let's out with that. nothing to show for it. And that means he's going to be, yeah, he's going to be, he's going to be sticking out with Marduk the rest of his grand finals. Uh, and they're rematching, they're going to the same level too, so. Yeah. He likes where he is, he likes who he's playing, he's gonna stick it out and let's see what it does for him. Time to take out the trash. <laughs> Round one. God, I love Leroy. <laughs> Such a great flavor character, too. Yeah, definitely. What's uh, the dog, Sugar? Is that the dog's name? Sugar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like. Unfortunately, a completely useless move. It takes like 100 frames to finish that move. <laughs> As a yeah, like 600 frames start off, you know. Super like, cool. even if you land it, it's like you're still waiting to get out of the animation to follow up on it. <laughs> Ooh, nice duck on there on the string. Oh, oh get out of here! in the air! He's, a, he's pulling a Zangief, man. Could protect those skies. Good break. I think I, I want to see Squall use, a, uh, like, some more uh, generic throws. I mean, here's a mix-up. Cross chop. Rage drive onto the wall. Ooh, in the knee. Oh, oh. man! Low jabs out of the uh, rage drive. Man. Good job on Obscure pinning him to the wall, too. Yeah. That whole time, he was just pushing them back, pushing them back, pushing yeah. them back. Yeah, uh, like, people have to remember, you can wall carry, even if they're blocking. Yeah. Um, he needs to tackle, and then the one. That's my leg. Yeah, that's so true, man. Like, when you're playing uh, a really high-end player, and they just, like, wave dash in your face, and they just run up on you, man, sometimes it's so scary just pressing buttons. You just do nothing, and five seconds later, you find yourself in the corner. Ooh, that's going to oh. be so much damage. Oh, that move that's gotta be is it. so ridiculous, man. Mid or low, mid or low. Oh, evening thing, uh, evening things up here. Marduk has one of the best comeback features, I think, in the cast, man. When you get hit with that rage drive tackle, you're eating 50%, like easy. And what a great duck after the 4 4 3. That is a high. Oh, good throw. Like, break. it's so safe uh, on block, but yeah. if you duck it, devastating. Clean 50% from Leroy. Good float here from Squall. Oh, back dashes the orbital. Ooh, counter hit. Able to pick him up off that. That's such a cool pickup. No, oh, misses no. the wall combo. Ooh, low kick. Very right. nice. Like, stop that streak. Squall is in it to win it. Can he get this round? Walls are gone, so more space to work with. Ooh, nice. Countered the launcher. He said, stop that. That's a command, uh, a command throw, so he's got to get the break on it. Great low parry. That's what you want to do against that down three, too. <clears throat> Ooh, good orbital again from Obscure. And that's going to be leaving him really close. Oh, on a pixel. Oh, he what's the big Does he know it? He, he does. breaks it. Oh, and he kicks him again. That's how he ended it last round. That was so close. I've noticed that Squall has either done the one plus two or the two. Uh, sorry, the uh, the one to, uh, with the two. Sorry, the two for the one break. I have a feeling that if he lands it in a very crucial situation, we're gonna see the one, and he's gonna finally throw it out. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna get him with this. Obscure been doing a really good job though breaking these tackles. I think he's only gotten hit by one of them. Yeah. All that conditioning though definitely adds up over time. These yeah, guys. The, the longer the set goes on, it looks like it might be in Squall's favor. Yeah. Ooh, good. That down 4 to 1 launcher. Squall's making some crucial adjustments in this oh, gameplay right here. Good break. The true 50 50. Ooh, oh, catches him. Oh, no. Spear running train against him. Put it on this pressure. Ooh, floats him. 
Uh, is he oh. pressing something? He is pressing up grabs. So, he does uh, have quite a bit of health, though. That's not going to do too much damage, but quite a bit. Ooh. One makes him away. Oh. Oh, 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 he didn't even need it. That was, that was smart. That was really smart. He knew how much damage the attack would do by itself. He threw it out there. Yeah. Oh, one, two, throw. Oh, command throw again. Ooh, gets uh, orbital out of the throw again. The forward, four, four to get him to the wall. Can we see a mix up? And he's out of oh, there. Man. He's getting so much, uh, so much work out of the, that just one, two jab. And again, like oh, 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 he buries the range drive. He didn't get it though. He floated him, uh, and he's able to take the round because of that. He that gets was, low. What can't he do? What can't he do? Fight. Man, I saw. You, you see that clip where um, he, he parries Elisa's uh, Rage Art? He's like, Brrr. He thought he won! He's like, I got, I got, I got steel, steel forearms, bro. That yeah. don't work on me. <laughs> Adamantium forearms. Let's go. Uh, oh, he, even uh, backdashing against the uh, tackle, he gets the low hit. Unfor uh, I mean, fortunately for Squall, he has not eaten a single Master's Lesson. Yeah. That, that Pimp came to massive damage, doing Ooh. over like 105 damage. It's a good shoulder. Is that going to do it? One hit away. We saw this earlier. And he takes it. Two rounds to one. Can Squall clean it up to take us into a game five here? Ooh, that counter at the start. Not like that. Yeah, you don't want to see that. That's a zero on block. That down forward, one, three. Uh, down back one three, I'm sorry. Good tackle though from Squall. No break from Obscure. Eventually, man, you're gonna get hit by that. Yeah. Ooh, good float. Tackle again. What's the mix up? One again. Able to get it. Ooh, good oh, good launcher. Runs the down up on a one. launcher. Boom, one, two. Boom. One more mix up. Oh, kicks him in the leg. And yeah. that does it. Two, That's some two. good conditioning, because uh Squall has been going for mid most of the time on yeah, the wake up. On the run up, yeah. Yeah, these long sets are really just about analyzing what they're doing. You have so little time to try and absorb so much information and then use it actually correctly in the game, you know? Right. All right, so let's see what... Uh, what? We're in character select. Yeah, I was like, oh, man, what's Obscure doing? <laughs> but, I mean, he's got a lot of characters. He's, you know, he's, got an, uh, uh, he's got a Noctis. He's got, obviously, Elisa. Elisa. That's his, that's his homegirl, man. So I'm not surprised to see that. I did. Alisa really evasive in some of her oh, movement man. as well. And, and obscure, obscure does her sidewalking so well. Yeah. You know he knows her movement like the back of his hand. She's got like one, like top three sidewalks in this oh, game. Oh yeah, right? I think yeah, definitely, hands down, one of the best sidewalks in the game. And he definitely exploits that. You'll see a lot of strings that just go straight in the sidewalk uh, for the retaliation punish. And uh, it looks like they're heading the G Corp helipad, G Corp helipad. So. That's going to be working, I want to say against his favor, because every time I've seen Obscure play, he prefers the wallless level to create that spacing, the infinite backdashing. And he's got a lot of wallless specific combos out of uh, the extended roll uh, attack that she has. Yeah. Oh, good low sweep to start the game here, though. And he's going to be taking Squall to the wall. Is he going to break it? He's not. You guys yeah. are rolling around the map here. Ooh. Here come the blades. He's mix up. Chopping that Achilles. Oh, he ducks oh, it, but then comes that back up. Sick. That spacing was perfect. <laughs> wow, that was a near perfect round to begin this winner's finals game five. Yeah, and such a different style of play you see from Obscure now. You know, he's playing the spacing game. Good crush on the low yeah. with the hop kick. I like this holdout by Obscure too. Uh, just like waiting to pick this Elisa. Yeah, you know, you spend all this time learning Leroy, and then you have to switch it up completely to play against Elisa. All right, good block on the low, picks it up. Uh oh. Stays on the ground to avoid that tackle. Oh, he does it does again. It again. He does it again. He's, he, he is persistent. He wants it. Obscure at set point to go into grand finals. A good natural knockdown. Oh, it works those legs. No throw. Rather, good throw break. Oh, oh unblockable? My God. That move right there, that on infinite, he gets a full combo. Oh no, I don't think Squall's ready. Oh, he had I don't think Squall's kick. ready. That was a very quick match there from Obscure. Taking a 3-2 over Squall. 
So we'll be seeing Squall in Losers Finals. Oh, uh, that's a heartbreaker too, because Upscare was 2-0. Yeah. And then Squall almost brought it all the way back. He gave him a chance. Yeah. <laughs> he gave him a chance. He gave him a chance. But great stuff from Squall. You know, he did a really good job of Marduk up until that point. Um, and he did, I mean, he did fine. And he we'll did see great. him again in Losers Finals. Definitely, definitely. But up next, we got May May and, and Reflex. Reflex. These guys. These guys love playing each other. Three, go. That was it. Oh, uh, oh, oh, he's like, oh, oh, he's like, oh, he's going one out of one. Thought it was two out of three, man. What are you doing? All right, Maymay taking the one. What? Do I know my sides? <laughs> Which what is left? No, Maymay uh, just won that, right? That says in the paper. Do people favor two P? Hey, man, it's 2020, man. We play it different <laughs> yeah. out here. Some of us grew up with older brothers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm an only child. I don't know about that life. Like, man, <laughs> I am the older May, brother. Maybe <laughs> only played sessions at other people's houses, so he had to take P2 every time. Yeah, he played with third-party controllers, too. <laughs> <laughs> the old <laughs> Mad Cats controllers. Yeah. Mad Cats before you didn't want them. <laughs> the freaking rock candy afterglows. <laughs> the the plastic ones that you could see inside of. Bro, <laughs> what's that shaking in there? What, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All uh, right, but boring. losers semis, May May versus Reflex. Yes, sir. Is it the Hey Hachi or the Jin against uh, possibly the Leroy here? You know, I I'm not too sure. I don't know how much Reflex has seen of his specific Hey Hachi, but I mean, I know he knows Hey Hachi. Reflex does from a defensive standpoint. A lot of a lot of players around here play like Guthrie. Right. You were mentioning our Brian G. Yeah. Um, you know, one of our legacy Hey Hachi players. We've been playing since forever. Shouts to Brian Guthrie. Uh, so I don't know if that's going to work in Maymay's favor if he decides to stick with him. Yeah. But we'll find out here in a couple moments. These guys fighting, I think, for fourth, right? Uh, this is for fourth. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Reflex is impervious to Maymay's insane mix-up game. Yeah. It almost seems like Maymay's right every single time, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> He's just living in their brains, man. He's like, I know what you're going to do. And I'm in ready your for head. It. <laughs> or in Jap I don't know how he actually would say that in Japanese. I'm not sure. Uh, That's not me. That's you took my line because I would have said it in Spanish. <laughs> you took my Spanish from me, bro. I don't got anything left now. Atamani <laughs> inside. Yes, that was it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Inside door. Atano atamani ga. Yes. Yeah. Damn, dropping yeah. the knowledge. The knowledge drop here. <laughs> Shout outs. Let's go. All right, so here we are. Reflex. May May. Taking it to Infinite Azure. So Infinite Wallace Azure. level here. All right, so Leroy uh, Reflex is going to probably eat less of a mix-up with no threat being against the wall. Yeah, the Okazemi is a lot less here. Yep. So. I want to see people use it more. I feel like these guys that are getting infinite fa stages are just still fighting each other's faces. Like, yeah. <laughs> whatever, man. We don't need walls. We're going to fight Can no you backdash a little bit more, please? <laughs> Oh, you see May May early. Oh, Good duck under on the forward forward. What four. a hard read, too. Yeah. He was ducking yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good parry. That's a zero. And then a, that's that that that, that uh, back one plus two is frame 12. Oh, man. So, so fast. Quick. Yeah, so quick. Ooh. Ooh, good float. Okay. And he's going to take the guaranteed damage, but he doesn't want it. No, Instead, that's blocked, boy. He oh. parried it the flex, too. <laughs> he did it on, re he did on reaction? <laughs> yeah. He's like, nah, man. Get that out He here. didn't have to do that. <laughs> Reflex confirmed BM. <laughs> All right, Good jab punish after the 4 4 2, two. Yep, yep. Ooh. Gets it anyway, though. Man, I feel like you lose a part of your soul when you get hit by that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh. some some people use it as like a whiff punish, and some people just use it to be a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> and that parry is gonna take reflex, it. Reflex, he's use, but however he's using it, it's working. So it don't matter his reasoning. He just he's throwing it out there because he's doing his job. Because the usual mix-up is the down back three too low uh -huh. uh, versus the back four, which is the mid. Yeah. Uh, but you know, if you know they're gonna block low, just open up with a launcher mid. Yeah. Uh, maybe though, fighting for his life here, able to make a round on him, under his name. Two rounds to one here. We are not going to see a no round brown yeah, in no game round. one. Not in this house. Ooh, good jab out of the uh, out of the stance. Ooh, double electric, big damage. Yeah, you know that hermit is uh, uh, automatically parries lows, but that uh, gives the opportunity to give him a jab. Yeah. Ooh, gut check again. 
Just outside of Rage, though, so lucky for Mei Mei. He's not taking as much damage. Good low parry, oh, though, from Mei Mei. Great Puts low him in parry. Rage. He's not going to end the round, but he's close to it. Oh, the jump up do nothing. That's so scary. Bro, I was blocking yeah, low I when was I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I was crouching. Uh, I, I think he was hoping that Reflex was watching. Like, I've gone for this low every single time. <laughs> oh, man. Herbert oh, pressure. No. Herbert pressure. He's throwing it out there. He that's threw a button. Oh, he's able. His health bar cashed that check and took it to the bank. Two rounds each for both these players here. This round is such an important five. round. Such an important round to set up this because whoever ends up uh, one game to zero has yeah. a lot of breathing room to work with. You got that advantage. You got that counter pick ability. Mm -hmm. Down four. Uh, down back two. Both these players even at health here. Ooh, good, good string. That's good. such a great mix up too because that that four is like um, I think a zero on block. Oh, counter hit. Puts him in rage. This is close. Good oh, damage. there he went with it. He, he did it. He, he pulled the trigger. Master's lesson in round five. You gotta use that. Uh, oh, good float. Is it enough though? Oh, he did. Oh, oh he gosh. gets the I command can't believe grab. He just did one plus two in his face. That was crazy. I don't think that was. Yeah, intentional. Probably, yeah, I don't think that was. You can see on his face, he's like, oh man. Oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just like, oh man. <laughs> All right, so carry our stage select here coming out of May May. Looks like they're going to Brimstone and Fire. fire. We've, like seen a, we've seen the stage a lot today yeah, so far. We have. I was noticing it earlier when we were doing Marduk versus uh, Marduk versus Leroy. They both were wearing kind of like shiny gold, like dark. Yeah, I was that like, volcano I'm like, how do you? Yeah, how do you? I feel like it's harder to track when you're playing on his map, but these guys like it, so. Yeah. And it's a cool level. I think it's, it's dope as heck, so. We oiled up and shiny on this volcano here. <laughs> that sweat. You see that <laughs> that sweat. sweat. We all know what you're talking about. You know, you see that sweat. These guys working for it. Bro, you brought your dog to the volcano? How messed up is that? Hey, man. He's the moral support. He's a support dog. <laughs> I'm about to say, like, you think that's Leroy's support that's dog? A support dog, dog. <laughs> he uses them in a match. That's yeah, the he, definition he, of support he, dog, dog. He's bringing them to the grocery store. He got a license for it and everything. Gets the back one off of that hermit stance. Oh, si good sidewalk. Good sidewalk. Good sidewalk. Good spring kick. Good spring kick. Good pressure. Oh, man. Catches him on the sidestep. Oh. May May was blocking that. No, uh, I think he realized that it's safe on block. Mm -hmm. Tried to adjust there, but I got punished for it anyway. So yeah. good adaptation for reflex. Good opening by reflex here. He's gonna bring him to the wall. And keep him, make that, him hold that Oki. That back one plus two is safe on block two. That was a all frame. guaranteed. That sixty percent is insane. Yeah. Ugh. Honestly, the part of what they need to nerf about Leroy. Oh, they got the parry. Part of what they need to nerf about Leroy is his wall combo potential. Yeah. All of the guaranteed stuff off of a splat is just like oh. Misses a confirm after the electric though. Puts it back in neutral. Four, four, one plus two whiffs. Ooh, catches him with the orbital, man. And that's gonna bring him to the wall. He's gonna get all his extra damage. You gonna hit him with a pull. Master lessons plus and gets the mid uh, mix up. Yeah. Three rounds in a row against uh, Reflex. How does character Wait, get hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. oh this will lose the semis. I'm sorry. That was. Only a best of three. Oh yeah, yeah. Reflex yeah, yeah. is one. Uh, yeah. is already done. I was like, you talk, man. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> get him like, out of here. What? <laughs> but no, good job. Good stuff to Maymay. Good job, man. Yep. Taking that that top five top five victory under his belt. So shout out to him. We'll be seeing Reflex here against Squall. Losers finals. Three Once out of more, five. the Broken Alliance uh, matchup. Yeah. And let's see if Reflex ends up. Double eliminating Squall. Yeah. We see it happen a lot. I'm sorry, he, Squall uh, double squall eliminating Reflex. Yeah. We see these guys play each other in Grand Finals a lot when they do like our monthly TNSs, you know? Yeah. So it's just like these guys snipe each other all the time. They're used to it. But they right got now. Awkward, awkward drives home. You know how it goes. Right now they're playing for third to get up to Obscure. Yeah. With that uh, pot bonus on the line too, every win counts that yeah. much more when there's so much more money in the pot. Yeah, there's a lot of difference between uh, like. 60% and 30%. Yeah, there is, especially <laughs> when a random $500 shows up in yeah. that pot. Incremental gains. Yeah, man. Uh, was that uh, Marduk versus Leroy? Marduk versus Leroy, I believe, is what we're seeing. All right, we're going to go for the same matchup again. Uh, what are we going to random into, though? I thought they were gentlemen. Dragon's Death. Oh, you know what that means, though? Round five, if this goes to round five, we get Leroy's theme song. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. 
Uh, yeah, oh. it's round three, round five. Dragon's Nest, you get Leroy's theme song. I just hope that, because I've never heard this, right? Like, I, I, didn't, I don't follow Leroy that much. I know how he plays, but I've never seen, heard the music. I just hope it's better than Lars's music. Oh, it's dope. Okay, he, good. He's singing okay. in this. He's oh, rapping. He's, he's ra <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you better get this one. Oh, <laughs> let's go. I'm so psyched for this. Mad Dog drools a ton, man. Side uh, note. You know, I want to see... I really like Leroy's back three. Yeah. Uh, which is like a... Ra like a what's, what's it called when it hits it, tracking? Uh, it's, it's, a track, it's a tracking move, yeah. It's yeah. a tracking move. Yeah. But basically, it's safe, but it's a high. Mm -hmm. But it natural launches into uh, a combo. Oof. Well, here we are here in losers' finals. Squall opening up the offense against Reflex here. Just what's outside the mix? of rage. Tackle. Can he get the mix up? Ooh, That's a two. Knows. That is the two. We were just talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Finally hits the guard. two. Like, you've been watching. I've been doing the ones, but now you're getting the twos. Yeah, man. Here we are here. Round one, or round two, rather. These guys playing in the neutral. Oh. No punish out of the forward, four, two, two. There's no throw break either, so a lot of damage here from Squall. Going to be taking him close to the wall. Gives him some breathing room. Says, hey, man, fight me in the middle. Squall's got a really good sense of when they're going to run up on him. No launch oh, after that man, uh, he block. Him so hard, he fell down. But Squall's got a really good sense on when they're going to. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's coming. It's raining, dog. Yeah, is Squall going to take him out before he even He's gets like to the. <laughs> He's like, I ain't trying to hear this. I ain't trying to hear this nonsense. Hey, turn this off. <laughs> Change the station. Oh, there you go. Miss on the orbital. Good whiff punish. One, two. Oh, he's doing a lot of one, two cancels into uh, stance. Yeah. Uh, Squall is, which is good at maintaining that pressure. Ooh, oh, that's, that's got to be it. Oh, man. No wall. Leroy and he blocks it. is about to die. Um, Rage art? What, it was a ridiculous punish. Oh my gosh, we barely got even a third into the song. Oh, change the station. Yeah, hit that Sing jukebox. Sing music, man. Good stuff, though. Good stuff, Very though. good comeback from Squall in <laughs> yes, that situation there. That was really solid. That was a really solid uh, punish. I was surprised that he hit that. Man, he's, he, he paid for it. Reflex yeah. definitely paid for it. Uh, I, he... He chose a uh, a screw finisher for that, and uh, did not quite get the wall, which was like critical. Yeah, in that, that situation. was the, yeah. That if was he had gotten the wall, he could have taken the round. Mm -hmm. But he didn't, so here we are, game two. Two two punish on that. Oh, good parry. Good parry. Down one plus two. After that parry. Um, if, if they if they get the parry hit and you try to press a button after it, that down one plus two is gonna catch you oh, and do a counter no. hit launch. So you gotta be careful on that. Oh, I felt like he tackled him while he was already on the ground. That yeah. was so quick. <laughs> He's like, no, stay there. Oh, uh, we got some herbal pressure. Herbal pressure. Nice, pressure. low, low, low. Pow, pow, pow. Protect those legs, man. Uh, yeah, Marduk is super Ooh, top heavy. Let's go. Yeah, right. But you gotta watch them ankles. Uh -uh. He's oh. consistently doing, you notice he's consistently doing the two now. Yeah. Do you know the mix? What is it, another two? No, nah, that's a 12. Oh, uh, that's a 12. Ooh, judo chop. Oh, oh whips man. it. He's hermit dancing on him. Uh-oh, hermit dancing, hermit dancing. What's the play? Oh, oh he Master's said, lesson get in that space. cane Are you out of here, crazy? bro. He said, put that down. No weapons allowed. All right, his cane is deactivated for the rest of the round. Breaks the throw. Oh, good jab. Good tackle. One. Good one, yep. <clears throat> Snapping the leg. Give me Ooh, a piece of that. Down forward one on wake up. That was great. He anticipated the button press and is benefiting hugely from that. Good break, though, from Reflex. Yeah, avoiding that reset. You do not want that. Yeah, that would have been the round for sure. It's the round anyway. Squall, two games or two rounds of one here. Yep. That back one is really good, too. Like, if you, if you like Fang's back one, <laughs> on counter hit, that, that does more than uh, Fang's back one and the uh, back one plus two follow up too. Oh man, good damage here from Squall, bringing him to the wall. Such top, such clean play from Squall we're seeing here. Yeah, you oh. can't punish that orbitally. That, that's a mix up right there you yeah. gotta go for. Ooh, good break on the command throw. 
Uh, not the second time, though, man. Persistence that, definitely wearing down. That, that's a two and break? Again. Uh, yeah, it's a two break. All right, Squall up two rounds against Reflex and loses finals. I like how he played out the end of that. He's like, well, I got throw broke. But I, like, you know, I was talking earlier about how when you have that much health, you can kind of throw more risk. He's like, down forward one. Yeah. Down forward one, whatever, launch him. If I get it, I win. If I don't, I don't die. Man, three-way mix-ups, that's just unfair. It's, yeah. In this <laughs> game especially, man, where really you get, like, yeah, I kind of think about the old Marvel days where it's like, you get three chances, man. Really, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. When you get at high level and this level and you're getting hit Sometimes hits. you get, like, two chances. Yeah. Depending <laughs> on who you have and how much meter's involved. You're playing, like, Geese or Akuma, man. You get two chances. You might even get one. <laughs> one chance. Like, hey, man, there's enough walls, enough ground breaks. That game is over. But it looks like we're going to be seeing a character switch from Reflex. It might, hopefully it's not too late. He's, you know, checking, he it, he's checking his buns like, we, we got all he's working, like, right? Wait, is it me? Or is it, <laughs> is it the game? I don't know. It's my stick. Kazumi against the Marduk. Oh. And I, I like his Kazumi because uh, Reflex is a very fundamental character, uh, fundamental player, I should yeah. say. And that fits into Kazumi so, so well. Kazumi is just straight fundamentals, yeah. right? You got that down forward one checking them all the time. All the time. And Marduk not really known for his quick normals, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, he... Reflex is going to be able to press that a lot in his face. And unless Marduk, unless Squall knows exactly what to do from playing him enough, he's going to be holding that pressure quite a bit. So yeah. let's see how that character knowledge uh, chucks up here for Squall. Yes. Got to think about it, though. I think, doesn't uh, Marduk have, like, a counter? Like, he has a counter move into tackle, doesn't he? I'm actually not sure. Uh, yes, uh, Marta can grab punches or kicks. Yeah, so okay. he can't spam it, but he can definitely use it to keep it bay. And as we see here, nice. two of them into side steps. Step. Yeah. Now, is that that's a zero on block? I mean, it's safe. It's, it's safe, safe enough. Crazy I don't think safe. it's zero, but mine is like a couple. Ooh, he yeah, did but, his own. He but did that his down forward one, one on block is going to open up a lot of opportunities for mix. Mm -hmm. Ooh, walks spring the kick? spring kick, yeah. Ooh, catches him with the 4-4-4. Four, four, four. <laughs> the disrespect tiger. <laughs> oh, catches him, delays the string, good stuff. The guy's just duking it out, catches him on the armor. Yep. Gotta hit that low on the power crush. Yeah. 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two. the classic. Ooh. Throw, throw break. Throw break, yep, yep. Uh, playing in each other's faces here. Good break off of the uh, tackle. A lot more patience on both these players right now. Yeah. It oh. seems a lot more methodical when you have uh, fundamental characters on deck. Chop to the neck. Oh, oh my God. Every single time the he funny, wakes up. The funny thing is he hit him out of it. He was doing a power crush. Yeah. So but, if he had health, he would have probably been able to make it work. Yeah. But not enough to check that out. Not enough health to use a power crush there. Yeah. But he, he might have been expecting a jab. He might have been. He was probably expecting something different here, too, because he didn't break the throw. But Kazumi ready right outside of rage a couple seconds into the round. All right, can we see a glide mix up? Nope. We get a tackle. Oh. And the two. Man, breaks his neck. What's he got out of this? Tossed out of mid yeah. and punishes him. That was solid. Seven gold letters. That didn't feel like a perfect, but it was. Squall taking it here. One round away from 3 0 -ing. Oh, good break. Reflex fighting. Find his way out. Is see Reflex going to settle for third right now? Well, we'll see here. Let's see what Squall does off the low parry. Oh, oh trade. The Barely a whiff punish there. No, oh, that's no. going to hurt quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, goes for the throw. Whiffed. Uh oh. Oh no. It comes down to this. Yes. And no. that's gonna do it. All right, Reflex taking third squall, going on to grand finals against Obscure. Yes. Go quick, man. What time is it? <laughs> it's it's <laughs> not even five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, these guys are pumping through this top eight. But yeah, we are gonna be doing grand finals here. Up next, two great players on deck. Oh my gosh, it's a good ass second today. He's a great second, man. Looks, looks like Squall won the P1 matchup, so he's going to be on P1, so obscure on P2. Could and this make a difference? 
We'll see, man. If Squall can this... get their three set. I think Obscure won on P2 last game, didn't he? I think so. He was I on think P2. so. You're, you're, on no, P2. you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh, man. We want to thank you guys for coming out here, viewing uh, Tampa Never Sleeps 8 here, Tekken Top 8. Grand Finals up next. After this, we'll be seeing Street Fighter Five, Top 8. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. It's going to be some hot action. Yep. I want to give a shout-out to our sponsors. we got Chewy, Boba Company, Juicy Game Night, helping us out here. Tong Lee, the legend. Duelist, all those guys at Juicy helping out. Duel yeah. Studios, WSO Gaming, CEO Gamers on the Edge. All these guys make this possible. We wouldn't be here without them. So thank Shannon, you guys. We got an event coming up for Gamers on the Edge in May, right? The same May venue? 16 through 17th here on the same oh, venue. That's my birthday weekend. That's yeah? Right. Yeah, I'm on the 20th, so I'll be here. What better so, way to celebrate your birthday than partying with a bunch of gamers, right? That's right. We're going to have it's gonna be a two-day event just like this, 24 yep. hours. It's unfortunate that you're watching on stream and not here. Right now we're doing a reduced venue fee, the early, early, early bird, $15. Ooh, I got to jump on that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here. Let's do it. Yeah, if you want to get on that, hit us up on Twitter. Go talk to Angel if you're here. All right. They'll Good get you stuff. squared away. We want to get people registered. We were ready for that event. There's going to be so much more hype. Uh, everything that you see here, all these people, I expect to see everybody back. Yeah, that's right. But we're getting into it right now. Some more excitement right in front of us here. Grand final squall versus obscure Marduk Let's versus go. Leroy Smith. Looks like Reflex could not bring the Leroy, but let's see if Obscure is. Yeah, yeah, let's check these Leroys out. The Leroy Army, squall fighting them all off. Let's see how this goes down. Obscure did take this 3-2. Uh, last time, yes. But can Squall close the gap and take this into a reset? They're going to Souk. Souk very small level, so uh, they'll be finding themselves against the wall very quickly. One combo will do it. Unfortunately, on this stream, it's only referred to as Souk and not the full the name. The full name. <laughs> yeah. No, no, say it. It. no. We launch it. We go into the wall super early. This the Souk is so narrow. He gets the reset launch. No break. Let's see what he does with it. Bring him to the other side of the wall. He's way east to west. Yeah, he coast to coast. He wall to wall to wall. He's seeing Ooh, a, seven gold letters open up this right. game. Top eight. That's what we're seeing here. Obscure taking a round trip around Soup, giving him that fruit. They got to clean that up in aisle three. Oh, here it comes. Is it going to be a repeat? No, it's not. He's going to let him get up this time. Oh. Ooh, cancels in the throw. What's the mix-up break? He gets it. Again with the he gets yeah, that. He so tried to cross chop. Oh, four, four, four. Oh, putting the pressure, putting That's the pressure. That's zero. Putting the pressure. All right, good good spacing from uh, from Squall there. Oh, and I forgot that that, that move forces you into duck oh, man. and a zero. Jails. Like, why? It's a crouch jail? Good lord. Quick 2 0 here from Squall. Right, 1 2 4 into Hermit, keeping that space. Oh, my God. Down for 1. That is the Squall special, man. It doesn't matter if he's on Leo, if he's on Marduk, he's making that work. No, there's definitely a stage select right after this match. The Souk is no <laughs> good. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> All right, see here, these guys fighting in the neutral. Good throw here from Obscure, able to get a little bit of damage. Good block from, uh, from oh. Squall. Oh, man, gets gut checked, though. Rising two to the wall. Can we get a mix? What's up, Gazemi? None. Tackle. Oh, that is some oh. weird ass Tekken. Let's go. Oh, one, two, right. The Squall takes game one. <laughs> Already had advantage. And I like that he chose to choose the knee, right? Because he has two versions of that load that he can do. That has a lot less range, but he can't parry it. So he was really, really smart yeah. to do that. Well, I don't know if Hermit can parry it. And that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, even if he does regular parry or Hermit, I don't know if Hermit works, but the low parry wouldn't yeah, work. Yeah. So smart for him to use the knee. <sighs> All right, so here we are. Looks like they're rematching. Are they heading back? No, they're going to Wallace. They're like, no, yeah. man. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's too small. <laughs> there is <laughs> fruit flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Like, man, this marketplace is not meant for fights. Get me out of here. We're going to this uh, floating water. The Jesus going to effect. Light. Let's go. Man, that dog is living the dream, man. He's been all over the world. He's living his life. She, she don't have to fight either because <laughs> he would never use sugar. <laughs> Uh, didn't commit to the 3-2. Yep. Right, so here we go. These guys playing uh, neutral. That Oops. combo's got to end it right here. 
Boom, oh, boom. Boom, that's it. Seven gold letters again to I think start that, this game. I, I think that was near perfect damage, too. Yeah. And, then, and you're seeing Obscure play Lira a little bit more like he's playing Elisa with uh, the neutral back dashes just to create that space. Yeah. But not where out so well. Squall picks him up. He's like, yeah, you going nowhere. Good knee, good throw, no break. Again, punches him. That, that's a generic throw, too. Yeah. Oh, try to catch him grounded, but he wakes up. Orbital to catch him. Oh, didn't finish it. I guess, I guess um, if you hold, if you don't do the one plus two, it keeps him close to you. Yeah. You get Sometimes better. Oki. That, that Okazemi is so important. Good break. Now, no. I, I think Obscure might need to duck a little bit more against Squall. To deal with the throws? Yeah, to deal with the throws. And uh, Squall tends to jab a lot. He does. He does. Yeah, I will say that. But, you know, with, with jab, you know what else he does a lot, though? Down 4 to 1. Yeah. <laughs> so You're like, right. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not, but so far. Oh, this here's is the float. Out. Yep. What's the mix here? Blocks the low. 1 2, takes it. Interrupts the throw. Yeah. Two rounds of one here. Ooh, catches how, him. How much of a lead, how much of a solid lead can Squall establish right here? Ooh. Rook catches him out of the roll. Blocks the orbital, blocking each other here. Good defense from both players. Obscure wanting to reset the situation. Ooh, oh. catches him with a second hit. He didn't think he'd finish it, but he did. So much damage in an open oh, field. Jab, it was almost like a tic tac roll. He jabbed him and then tackled him, that was smart. Good break though, Obscure on point with those. Orbital! Not having oh, it. Oh, he almost missed the confirm. I know, I was scared for him. Like, is this how it ends? But it's 1-1. One, one. That's right. And that was such an important important match for him to win because it's like you don't want to be down 2-0. I think we need like another uh, stage select, though. No, we're no, going back. Like, they like it. They like this, man. No walls. I know Obscure's always going to go no walls. I feel like no matter what he plays, he's going to go no walls. I mean, when he plays on Lisa, he auto-runs to... Uh, to uh, Infinite Azure. What we might need from Squall is a little bit more patience and getting back to the backdash with uh, game. I like how he did that against Reflex. He kind of paced himself out a little bit more. Yeah. It felt like a, a quieter match, but a little less like party mode, you know? Yeah. Ooh, catches oh. him with the orbital on the tackle. That was great. Good read from Obscure. Def yeah, he's definitely intentionally not finishing that. Ooh, good tackle. There's a lot of damage coming out of this. Yeah, he's going to put him in rage. Next hit should do it for either of these guys. Oh, oh no. no. Did he do something? He blocked yeah, it. Yeah, he did block it. <coughs> Bet it all on the farm. He's like, man, this guy is pressing buttons. No, he's not. No, he is not. He pressed the right guard break, though, or throw break. Here they are. Orbital again. He is persistent with that. But what reason is there not to be when it's not unsafe? Yeah. <laughs> like, why not? I mean, the worst thing is going to happen, you're going to get floated. But yeah. Okay. All right, get, <laughs> I take reduced damage. All right. So you did 30 damage instead of whatever. All right. One plus two throw. Breaks the second one. Oh, man. So much damage coming out of this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 50%. Good lord. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought it was oh. going to side grab out of that. <laughs> right? That was scary. Oh, uh, and that's the high after the down forward one. Punishes with a 2-2. Uh, two, two. Ooh, good parry. Good read on the parry. It's not over. Ah, oh, parry, parry. Yeah. Squall looking like, oh, what was that? <laughs> Ooh, good tackle. Oh, Squall going to be tweeting after, about Leroy after this. Oh, Orbital again. That, that Orbital is doing the most work in this match, too. Yes, it is. Man, and here we are. Obscure. One round away from even if he's, oh, man. Started that with man Mass's lesson. lesson. Max rage, uh, max damage uh, combo. Man, that's 105. Yeah, that was insane. Ooh, and he gets the gut that's, check here too. That's gotta be it. I think so. Yeah. Good night, my sweet prince. There you go. And one game away from winning without the reset obscure. Squall back against the wall. Let's see if he is going to make any adjustments here. He's not. He's just going straight back in. He's like, I don't need to breathe. I don't need to think. I'm just bam back in. So let's see if it pays off for him here. Oh, wow. Such great tech in today. Yeah, for sure, man. These guys giving it their all. Glad to see some Leroy play. I was a little sad I didn't see any game replay, but 
Maybe we'll see him next time. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> we had a couple of them in the tournament, but uh, none of them were able to make it to top eight, unfortunately. Well, we had the guy in top 12 that played against. Uh, oh, that's got to be the round. Using the master lesson early in round one. Yep. That's the pimp slap right there. That is. One round to zero here. Two rounds away. Quick duck, too. Very nice. Good break. Ooh. Squall play. <laughs> I'm scared. Squall. Just like, what? <laughs> Squall's like, uh, he's thinking. He's like, how do I approach? What am I doing? Ooh, good low. Ooh, good wall rising. What? Ooh, hop kick, block, no punish. Oh, very nice back dash against that throw, but yeah. gets a jab combo. Down back four. Oh, misses the throw. Oh, oh no. Good break, though. Good break, though. That was a very crucial break. Oh, Parries it. And he gets, gets it by the second part, though. And he gets a launcher out of it. No follow up, though. No. Oh, man. He throws out the ground grab. There's definitely a delay there. These guys are lagging in real life. Tournament point for Obscure. If he gets this round right now, he wins it all. Oh, man. Poking those legs. Down forward one, though. Obscure not or, uh, Squall not having it. Two. Oh, good blocks. These guys are having really solid defense right now. Yeah. It's a oh, real man. back and forth. Nothing too one sided here. Breaks oh, the throw. The four, four, four. Jabs him out of it. Oh. Good down forward run again. Oh, this is, this is so crucial. He needs to get as much as he can out of this. And that's that whip punish. Oh, Ooh, he caught him. That was sick. No follow up. He caught him. He, he <laughs> Obscure got hit with that. He's like, I need to back out. I need to re <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I need to chill. Let me reassess the situation <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> the whole crowd a tackle here got lit up from that. Leroy, though, getting the full jab combo after it. Uh, let's see what he does out of this. He's starting to get the hermit pressure going. Gets tackled. Good break. Side switch. Oh, oh that orbital. orbital. Is that going to do it? Is this going to be it? it is Leroy going to take it? it here? He is. And Obscure taking TNS 8 with. Leroy, no reset required. This man's calling his dog yeah. and saying, let's go home. Let's go home. So. Obscure in first, Squall yeah. second. Reflex making a third. I'm sorry, uh, May May taking May a May third. May taking third, yep. And then uh, Reflex and... Um, no, that'd be Reflex third. Reflex out there. He lost to uh, Squall and won to lose his final, right? You're right. You're right. I got you, dog. I, got I you, can't dog. read. <laughs> I right, can't uh, read. Uh, but yeah, uh, shout out to all these guys. Shout out to BDG representing Obscure, uh, Obscure representing BDG rather. Uh, Brutal Democracy. Those guys are on the come up too, yeah. man. They got a lot of really good players. Uh, King Ray, King Ray Jr. as well. So I think this is a new decade for Tekken as well. It is. Like man. we got so many new players and like all of our legacy players doing super great. Yeah, I'm excited for our, our new character in March. Bro, April, Fakumal, Fakumal looks Brum. so dope. I know, man. You were talking about how tall yeah. uh, Marduk is. Man, that guy is going to look like a Mitch compared to... Nah, they're the same height, unfortunately. <laughs> I want him to be 10 feet tall. Uh, but thank you so much. We'll be tuning into Street Fighter in a yes. few moments. Street Fighter Five. stay tuned here at Tampa Never Sleeps 8. I was Anchor, and this was Strider. Strider. See you guys soon.